All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you book, with an audio test. So this is going to test out a potentially new um, configuration setup for recording and stuff like that. So um, sometime last year, I forget exactly when, <laughs> I bought an acoustic isolation shield. And what that does is it's basically just a shield or a little panel with uh, acoustic dampening material, basically like foam, essentially. And uh, what that does is it helps prevent uh, acoustic reflection of noise and stuff like that, and hopefully um, to block out a lot of external noise as well. So um, the reason I got it was for uh, doing Let's Plays and stuff like that, so my voice is nice and clear, and you don't hear all the weird reflections in the room and stuff like that. But <laughs> when I finally got it, um, it turned out to be a little bit bigger than I expected, so I couldn't exactly put it on my desk. So it just kind of sat in the corner, not really doing anything. But uh, last night, I decided to pull it out and was kind of looking at it, and I'm like, what if I put that on my tripod? And so I fiddled around with the setup a little bit, and uh, I think I got it uh, about as good as I'm going to get, at least for the time being. So uh, I want to do a compare and contrast video. So for the purposes of this audio test, I'm not going to compress any of the audio or fix it up or any of that kind of stuff. The only thing I'm going to do is just raise the volume so that way you guys can hear everything. And uh, that's about it really. So in the next bit, I'm going to show you how my setup is now. And then I'm going to show you um, the new setup. So see you in the next bit. Okay, so I'm actually recording this on my Sony Alpha 5100 camera just to show you guys what my setup looks like. So here is the acoustic isolation shield. It's just basically got like little foam bitty bits in there and stuff like that. I'm not sure how well it'll come out with that light in the way. But uh, yeah, basically it's just uh, you put your mic typically in this area and then it, you know, blocks all the sound and reflections and stuff like that. And it has little footies to where you can put it on a desk. But it's a little too big for uh, my setup currently. So, anyway, so my current setup is I typically just put my uh, camera on a tripod. You know, let me move out the way so you can see it properly. So I put my camera... Oops, <laughs> I put my camera on the tripod. And uh, then I put my mic, which is the Zoom H2N on top and that's just kind of been my go-to setup and I got the little windscreen on here to block out a lot of like whooshing noises and stuff like that which it is pretty good at doing but uh, this really doesn't come to play un unless I'm outside so but in any event that's my current setup and uh, in the next little bit I'm gonna show you the modified setup so yeah see you there <laughs> okay so um, here is <clears throat> the modified setup and uh, how I have it set up here is I have an old uh, little handle here that I got for my GoPro that has a little screwable mount. So I mounted my um, Zoom H2N to the bottom of it and then I have like another little converter mount here so I can hook it up onto the bar and then I just have it basically hanging upside down surrounded by the acoustic material so hopefully um, you hear a lot less ambient noise since the mic is, uh, it's not dead center, I would say, but it's, it's center enough to where you can avoid a lot of um, external noise, I hope. So, in the next little bit, I'm going to switch cameras and uh, we'll give it a, a test run. So yeah, see you there. Okay, so here is what it sounds like um, with the mic moved uh, down to where the isolation shield is. I'm still the same distance away, talking at about the same volume as I was before. There's relatively no um, big ambient noise that at least I can hear um, that might be different once I actually go into the audio and look at it and stuff like that. But the only real ambient noise that I can hear is just the ticking of uh, my wall clock and maybe like some light, light breeze outside. But uh, other than that, nothing really all that significant. So um, I'm hoping to incorporate my uh, acoustic isolation shield into 
uh, more of my videos. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just didn't know really um, how to do it. <laughs> but uh, now I think I got a pretty good setup going and uh, I can't wait to hear how it sounds. And uh, also, just to let you guys know, just to uh, reinforce the point, um, I'm not going to be doing any kind of um, audio tweaking or anything like that. I've turned off the low cut. I've turned off the uh, built-in compression for the Zoom H2n so it's as clean as possible set to the XY pattern if you guys were wondering so other than that and me just raising the volume up to where you guys will be able to hear it that's pretty much the only um, audio finagling I'm gonna do I'm not gonna tweak the EQ or any of that other stuff so that said this is the Andy Son sign up for now thinking you guys, Pook, for tuning in to my audio test of uh, hopefully my new setup and uh, for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.